Construction News Tracker is brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. Another date setback for OSHA and its enforcement of the post-accident drug testing and safety program it seeks to impose. The federal agency was originally expected to begin enforcement of the anti-retaliation provisions reasonable reporting procedure in August, but faced with widespread industry opposition, delayed it until November 1st. But there's a new wrinkle in the form of a Texas federal court against the rule, and OSHA will not enforce the drug testing mandate until December 1st, and possibly later if this latest challenge is upheld. The U.S. Department of Commerce says the nation's gross domestic product grew 2.9 percent in the third quarter of the year, a realized expansion of a strengthening economy. It's the best quarterly improvement since 2014. This is borne out by the latest unemployment report from the Labor Department that payrolls gained 161,000 jobs in October. This follows a gain of 191,000 jobs in September and places the unemployment rate at 4.9 percent. Construction jobs increased by 11,000 in October, a steady but not overwhelming rise. AGC's continuing analysis of Labor Department statistics finds construction employment rose in 35 states through the month of September, although near-term employment rose in only 21 states and D.C. from August to September. The difficulty in contractors finding qualified workers to fill jobs continues. The annual statistical analysis bolsters the need for a national program of secondary education to offer construction-related courses. Project applications totaling $850 million are being sought by the U.S. Department of Transportation for its 2017 round of Fastlane grant money. It's part of the FAST Act approved in 2015 amounting to $4.5 billion. December 15th is the application cutoff date for this solicitation to states and local governments seeking funding for various road projects. And the early timing is a new method of giving federal dollars into the pipeline quicker than previous efforts. The latest prognostication for construction's future is coming from Dodge Data and its chief economist, Robert Murray. The 2017 construction outlook considers the immediate future as a measured upturn as opposed to a so-called industry boom. Murray believes the economy will remain strong through the intended growth into 2018 before a cyclical showdown is realized. To support his outlook, Dodge Data believes public works construction will help keep the expansion going, while price fluctuations in electric and gas plant building will continue to cause consternation. 2018 and 2019 outlooks are far from rosy at this time and could pretend a brief recession. Federal officials have granted emergency funds to both of the Carolinas following last month's Hurricane Matthew. North Carolina will receive $5 million and South Carolina will get $1 million from the Federal Highway Administration to use in rebuilding roads and bridges. In a related effort to repair damage, Home Advisor and other entities claim the shortage of contractors in the region could result in longer delays for homeowners to obtain repairs. Replacement window installations are said to be up by 133%, tile roof repairs up 120%, while work orders for portable generators in the Carolinas and Georgia were reportedly, reportedly facing a 240% increase. Labor needs, according to local officials, also face a severe shortage. Finally, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful. This is Construction News Tracker looking over the industry that makes the world a better place. Presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4ConstructionPros. Follow us on social media at Twitter using hashtag Construction News, YouTube at 4ConstructionPros, and on Facebook at forward slash for construction pros as the streaming web never ends.